All right, back at it again. I'm building another bike. This time I'm building up a gravel bike. And after doing a ton of research on what frame to buy, I ended up purchasing a 2022 Specialized Diverge 9R frame set. There were a few other frame sets that I was contemplating, but I ended up purchasing this one. I like the features that came with the frame, uh, particularly the Future Shock 2.0 and the integrated SWAT door. I thought that was genius in terms of having internal storage built into the down tube. Um, but anyhow, my previous gravel bike, which was a Chinelli King Zadeco, uh, that was my first gravel bike and I built it all up myself. I loved the bike, but unfortunately at the time of owning it, I didn't do much gravel riding. So by the time I started getting more into gravel rides, I pretty much had made up my mind that I was gonna sell the frame and then just start a completely new build. The Chinelli was pretty cool. Uh, I really liked the bike. And although I'm gonna transfer most of the components from the Chinelli over to the new build, I may go with a different rear derailleur. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the SRAM Access Explorer rear derailleur so I can do 1044 uh, versus this current bike, which is a 1036. So I'll have a little bit more in terms of gearing. The crank I'm gonna keep, shifters, um, which is currently SRAM Access, ETAP. All that will move over saddle. Um, and then the wheels, I'm gonna keep those for right now, which are zip 650Bs. Anyhow, on with the show.
All right, real quick, the bike came out great. I was able to do a handful of gravel events, but I ended up selling the bike after three months of ownership. Uh, there was just something about the bike I didn't really care for. I saw a few people riding with it and didn't really like the aesthetics of it, didn't like the way it looked. But outside of that, I also was just very uncomfortable on it. So, um, you know, another thing that I noticed is that with the thick down tube for the storage compartment, people thought this was an e-bike. So that kind of drove me up the wall with some of the comments that I was receiving where people thought I was riding a uh, electrical bike. But for the most part, I was over it in a short period of time. So I decided to get rid of it. I had quite a bit of interest. So I was able to sell the frame set and get my money back just about. Um, in replacement of this bike, I ended up starting another build, a Canyon Grizzle AL7. So brace yourself. There's another bike build video in progress and on the way.